Well, now more on tonight's main news. And alongside the growing evidence of Islamic, Islamic militancy across North Africa, there are warnings that the West faces a struggle against terrorism in Africa, which could last decades. Our Africa reporter, Jamal Osman, has interviewed a host of militants in the area and has a unique insight into their hold on the region. Al-Qaeda has its strongest hold in the East African state of Somalia. Al-Shabaab has been pushed out of the capital, Mogadishu, but it still controls large parts of southern and central Somalia, giving them the freedom to set up training camps for Islamists from around the world. Last year, I met Al-Qaeda's ambassadors in Somalia. It became apparent that Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib, Nigeria's Boko Haram, and Somalia's Al-Shabaab had joined forces. Their effort coordinated for the first time. Earlier, I spoke to Al-Shabaab's spokesman, Sheikh Ali Dere. He told me what's happening in Algeria and Mali is the same as what has been going on in Somalia. The issue in Mali and Algeria and Somalia is the same. We feel it's the Crusaders' war and it's another attempt to imperialize and rule Africa. And the Muslims are defending themselves from the aggression of the Crusaders, who are trying to take our land, people and religion. Like Somalia, they are trying to destroy our country and take our natural resources. I asked him what he thought about David Cameron's warning that the conflict against Islamists in Africa could take decades. If that's what he wants, our war is a holy war. For us, the jihad will continue until the world ends. They either leave our land or we'll continue fighting till death, or we will win the war. It's not about months or years, it's about achieving our goals. This determination is what makes the Islamists continue their fight. Weeks before French troops actually set foot on Mali soil, Al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghrib released this video, claiming France had started a proxy war with Islamists in the country. This group has blighted Algeria since a bloody civil war in the 90s, fighting for an Islamic state. Joining forces with Al-Qaeda in 2007, it took a more global role. The ongoing events in Algeria and Mali, just a reminder of what could be a long and bloody war across Africa.